What's up guys, my name is Tell Me How, and today's topic is about to how to increase your FPS in the new Fortnite season. I'm gonna walk you through every single step, and in the end of the video, your game will run smooth again, and you will have much more FPS, so stick to the end guys. We're gonna start with the in-game settings, so first of all, navigate to the settings. First of all, we're gonna have a look at display. Make sure that your window mode is windowed full screen. Your resolution is your monitor resolution. Your frame rate limit should be the same as your monitors. Secondly, we're gonna have a look at graphics. I would recommend to stick your brightness to 100% and to not use a colorblind mode. Afterwards, scroll down to graphics quality, where we're gonna have a look at 3D resolution. If you have a low end PC, try to keep this around 80% or lower. If you have a good PC, try to keep this on 100%. Next is gonna be your view distance. You should keep it either on near or on medium. Your textures should be low, the auto download high resolution textures should be off, and the high resolution texture reminder should be also off. Keep the meshes on low. Scroll down to advanced graphics settings, and we're gonna have a look at VSync. Obviously this should be turned off, because it's limiting your FPS. I would personally recommend to keep show FPS on on, so you can check if your FPS are getting better. Next, a very important point, your rendering mode. You should keep it absolutely on performance speeder. That's it for your in-game settings. Now we're gonna have a look at our Windows settings. For that, we're gonna navigate to the bottom left corner of our screen, we're gonna click onto the Windows symbol and click onto settings. Afterwards, straight up head to gaming, stick around the Xbox game bar and turn this off. Afterwards, head down to captures and make sure to keep record in the background while I'm playing a game on off. Afterwards, head to game mode and here you need to check it for yourself. It's really system specifically, so just try it out and stick with the setting which is working better. Return back to your main menu and straight up head to system. Once you're at the system, go down to power and sleep and navigate to the right hand side, clicking onto additional power settings. Once you're there, I want you to click on this little symbol right here and click onto high performance. Afterwards, you're gonna apply that. Once you applied it, simply close this tab. Afterwards, head right to storage and navigate right into configure storage center, run it now. Once this tab pops up, simply copy my settings. So, run storage sense every week, enable delete temporary files that my apps aren't using, go down to delete files in my recycling bin if they have been there for over 14 days, go down, delete files in my download folder if they haven't been opened for more than, select 60 days and afterwards click on to clean now. Afterwards, return back to your main menu settings, where I want you to navigate to update and security and stick around Windows Update. Afterwards, I want you to click on to check for updates and download the latest version of Windows just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Once you finish with that, simply end the settings. The same thing for your graphics card driver. So hit your application, hit the browser and download the latest driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Afterwards, I want you to type in Windows plus R on your keyboard. And once your run application starts, I want you to type in temp. Once this one pops up, simply delete every single file. The last step is gonna be to navigate right to your files. Head to this PC, right click it, hit properties, navigate to the right hand side to advanced system settings. Once the system properties pop up, click on to performance settings and hit adjust for best performance hit apply and okay okay guys that's it for the video if i could help you out just leave a like a subscription or a comment right onto my tiny little youtube channel i would really appreciate it and you would help me a lot grow i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye